Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Path of Titans, which is a new game. It's not on Steam. It comes with its own launcher, but uh, we're going to play it and uh, let's get into it. Hold up. So full disclosure, I did receive my copy of this for free and I got a founder's pack or something. So let's click on the upgrades and see what... So I own, I own all these dinosaurs, I guess. I mean, I, I, I literally don't know. Oh, I own, I own all the dinosaurs and the dinosaur skins. Okay, that's fun. Cool. All right, well, uh, let's go single player, I think. Uh, just cause I, I guess single player is just, just playing as yourself. Let's have a look at the finding servers. Uh, we'll, we'll try multiplayer. We'll, we'll do a multiplayer. It's fine. We'll see. I'm guessing the experience is intended to be multiplayer given that the, uh, the single player just said host your own server. Usually that's an indication that they want you to be playing multiplayer. So we're going to get into it. Oh, here's my dinosaur. I get to make a dino. I own all the dinos. Cool. Oh, that one looks like a bird. That thing's cool. Ooh, can make cool noises. Are these the these are the emotes that I've got. Okay, it's pretty cool. Oh, so these are these are the meat eaters. These are the herbivores. I like the birdie ones. They're cool. Iguanodon. Oh, that's a cool one. That dude's cool. Never heard of that thing. I don't know. Oh, right. There's different versions of them as well. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, what is this thing? <laughs> that's cool. Wow, this is, uh, so, so far, just playing in the character generator generator is, uh, pretty cool. That thing just looks like an alligator. Cool. Spinosaurus. Like me some Spinosaurus. Ooh, there's a, so I can play as a Tyrannosaurus if I want. Cool. Oh, there's Rex, Batar, Sanguinus. Okay, well... Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus. I want me a bird one, I think. Mm, oh, so we can... Oh, yeah. We'll go for a really fast one. Hmm... Actually, I'm not sure that I'm not sure I'm super fond of that. Mm. Give me a big bird. None of these are super birdy. I think I, I think we have to go over to the. Uh, ooh, that's cool. I mean, oh, that's that's a big bird right there. Excellent. Okay. Cool. And we get different patterns. Ooh, color palette. We can change their eye color. Oh, they're really slow. I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm uh, I'm four minutes into the video. We haven't even gotten into the game yet, because I'm just I'm playing with I'm playing. This thing's cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's very cool. <laughs> I want something that's quite fast, I think. I think we're going to go with land speed as our defining feature. Um, so this thing kind of looks like a bird, has a high land speed. And does quite a bit of damage, so we'll go. We'll go with this guy. He's he's a he's a he's a weird looking dude. Ooh, I like that color. 
That's cool. He can be like a light blue. That's very cool. Huh. Color one. So what is this? Oh, this changes like his face? Okay. Very cool. Ooh, that makes him look pretty weird. That's cool. And then some eyes. He can have cool green eyes. We gotta give him a name. What's a random name? Cruel Bite. <laughs> uh, how about... Um, uh, I don't know. Savage. We'll just call him Savage. Sure. Oh, he, he got way smaller. <laughs> but let's get in there. <laughs> Let's enter the world. Alright, use your input controls to move your creature. Sprint and jump, or tap the rest button to sit down. H. Okay, holding the precise allows you to stray for first, turn in place, stand up, use the precise move button, and move around to continue. Right. Run out of hunger, and you will starve to death. Use the interaction. Um, on the marked... Oh, it's over there. Ooh, we're a scavenger. Nice. Ooh, here comes another person. That's cool. Drink water. All right. Oh, we don't have big hops, but we've got some hops, so that's cool. We gotta do some drinking. Man, my uh, my dino's pretty cool. I like. I, I, I. Why can't we drink? Oh. What is going on here? All right, let's try this again. How much does he need to drink? These bars show vital information about your creature. Hunger in green and thirst in blue. Okay, this is your health. If your creature dies, you will lose marks, growth, and possibly your abilities. Stamina shows when your creature is running or using abilities. Sitting and sleeping regenerates stamina. All right, this is your creature's growth. Fill this bar to level up to the next growth stage and unlock new abilities. Growth can be earned by completing quests. Status effects, buffs, and debuffs are displayed here with a timer showing how long they will remain. Ooh, you can communicate with other players. Um, select the chat. There we go. To pick an item and deliver it uh, to the marker. Did it not work? F, pick up. Alright, where do we need to take it? So there's other people joining as well. So what are we supposed to do? Alright, unlock skins with marks to stand out. You can buy and shed into skins. Okay. Okay. So how do we... So we've got a hundred marks. And we've got this skin as well. Yeah. Okay. Abilities. You can purchase new abilities for your creature here. Many abilities are locked until your creature has grown larger. Eh, cool. Now equip an ability to your action bar. Bite. Confirm. Mm. Oh, I can bite. Alright. Quests. Alright, let's see some quests. The track button will display this quest. Joining a group. I mean, I really don't... Sure. Sure. 
Open the social menu. Party button will take you to the party menu. Here you can view members of your group. Um, yeah. Let's look at the friends menu. View all your Alderaan Games friends here. We can add friends to our friends list. Alright. Good luck. Exit through the tunnel to leave this cave. Okay, so why is my... trying to bite me. Don't try to bite me. That's rude. That's rude, buddy. Very rude. Exit the tutorial cave. Yeah. Let's go into the real world and get killed by um, much better equipped players. Well, the UI is pretty busy, isn't it? Okay. New, you've reached a juvenile growth stage. Nice. Okay. So, find and enter a home cave via home cave rock. Find and use a waystone. Hunt critter. Kill Didephalodon. Collect 25 clams. Oh, Alright. So. The server is going to restart in two hours, I guess. I mean, this is this is pretty cool, man. I'm I'm dinosauring it up. All right, so I've got to like, I've got to sit down and rest to get my stamina back. Is that is that what I'm hearing? I do look pretty cool. Let's go. Oh, hold on. We 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 reached a new growth stage, right? So, oh no. Okay. Nope. I lied. All right, well, let's just go towards that blue marker and see what happens there. And we're going to go around the side. Living it up in Dino Land. Dun, dun, dun. So I don't know what Deep Lake means, but whatever. I guess that's where we are. The world is very beautiful, and I'm, you know, dynoing it, it up, but stuff is, stuff is definitely coming and going. Oh man, stamina comes back so slowly. I guess the idea is we're supposed to uh, walk around instead of run around, so we'll do that. So I'll fast forward until we get to a, uh, a point where we're, where we've, where we're doing some quests. And getting some growth. Right, so, um, I went to a place to, I went to where the game told me I was supposed to go, and now I've lost all of my quests. So now I just have the find a waystone quest. I guess we'll go do that. Um, I was trying to hunt that burrow, and then a big alligator type dinosaur jumped out and killed me in one shot, which is fine. I guess that's how these sorts of games go. Um, yeah, I don't know. So far, the uh, the character creation was definitely the best part of this game. Um, I haven't really found much to do in the game. Uh, it said that I should do these quests, and this, the quests are supposed to get me involved and all that kind of stuff. So I've lost my growth as well. So I've started as a new, uh, a new dinosaur. I guess maybe I should have played single player. I don't know, man. I don't know. But like, I guess the point is to experience other dinosaurs. 
you know? But, uh, yeah, so far, I've, I've seen a couple, which was cool. But turns out I shouldn't be trying to dig in burrows and stuff. Other than the dinosaurs that I've seen, the, the world, like, kind of feels dead. Like, you know, there's no, there's no animals or anything that I, you know. I know that there would have been mostly been dinosaurs, but I, I don't even see any other dinosaurs. So I guess the whole world, all the dinosaurs in the world are, are humans. Or not humans, are, um, yeah, are people playing dinosaurs. I don't know. It's probably fine. I guess we're going to go find and use a ways, a waystone because uh, killing a critter didn't work. We failed the gather 25 clams quest because I, I, I don't know. It was a location-based quest. And I the uh, symbols that uh, come up on the map don't actually say what quest they're linked to. That's That green thing is the only one that I can see there, and it's not even the same color as the thing. So I'm... I'm hoping it's the right quest thing. Uh, and if it's not, gather 50 acorns. Right, so we've entered somewhere and we're supposed to gather acorns. Except for I don't, I don't, I don't know what acorns look like. Are, the, are these acorns, you know, like, nothing, nothing seems interactable. Right, so this is, so this is where we can gather acorns. So they must they must be able to be picked up. So it's right here. This is the this is the only place where I can gather acorns and I don't I don't I don't see where they are. Nothing seems to be able to be picked up. So yeah, that's fun. I guess we're just going to leave. We're going to go towards that green thing because that's the only direction we've been given. The game is like, you need to eat to grow and you need to um, sleep and all that kind of stuff. Man, the stamina bars are just terrible. Um, like I said, so far, the thing that I like the best is the uh, the character generation. That was fun. That was, uh, that was quite a good time. And I like these big trees. These big trees are definitely pretty cool. Yeah, and then I died, right? So I'm not even a juvenile anymore. I'm I went back to being a baby because Yeah, that's just how it is. I guess the idea is I'm supposed to group up. I like my guy though. I do like my guy. He's very cool. He's got green eyes and oh, he's getting close to the camera there. Oh, that's because we're going up a hill. I mean how far away is this green thing? It just and where even are we? I don't. I don't know. I don't know where we are. It's uh, because we're we're not on this map here. Focus player. Oh, there we are. Okay. Stop focusing the player, and I will zoom out. So there's green things all over the place. All right, we're putting. We're we're getting we're getting there. We're like another. 10 minutes of walking away. So we'll go there and see what's there. found a waystone use it to teleport your friends here send your friend to waystone invite they can accept from the character selection screen upon logging in they will appear next to you at this waystone using the waystone will drain its power and it must recharge you can remove the cooldown by donating marks you can also recharge the waystone by completing the local waystone cooldown quest oh okay so these people are all uh playing on console looks like i'm well, there might be there's a few there's a few PC players, but mostly it's people playing on console. There's a lot of players. 
All right. I can hear Dinos down there. I feel like I'm going to get killed, though. I don't remember what the... I don't remember what the um, button is for talking. Right. Cool. I'll just go for a run then. So I completed a quest. Hopefully I'll get some more growth. Um, I guess we're headed towards a, a thing. Oh, they're both they're both pretty close. Oh, that one that one was hunting a critter. So let's go let's go hunt a critter. Um, because then we can do stuff. We can we can see what there is to do. I mean, I've been playing the game for thirty minutes, and all I've done is run very far distances, which is fine. Um, but honestly, the stamina bar is killing me. But uh, yeah, I'll fast forward. <laughs> So I, uh, I, I got bigger. Oh no, I didn't quite get bigger. Yeah. So, so far, I don't know, man. I've picked up some roots. I fixed the stam. There's, there's no, it doesn't seem to be a reason for me to pick up the roots. It was just collect those roots and I, and I did do that. And then I got some XP for it. Or growth or whatever the game wants to call it. Um, I mean, that's fine. I just doesn't there doesn't seem to be a good reason for me to be doing that other than that it gets me xp i guess i don't know the chat is pretty interesting lots of people uh saying that there's a big war going on or something and that there's big fights happening somewhere i i would have no idea man this map is massive it is a hugely massive map and i guess that's why um people keep saying hey can you waste stone me to there um, hunting, oh, going to the thing that, where it said I could hunt the thing, uh, turned out to not work, because the thing that came out wasn't the thing I was supposed to be hunting, so, pretty sure I take fall damage if I fall down from here, so, oh, we're gonna find out, yeah, we took a huge amount of fall damage, so that's fun, well, that's right, we're gonna go find this Meyer location, uh, maybe, maybe we'll just sit down and chill for a while, this makes for interesting gameplay, of course, just chilling out. It's nice and relaxing. Very peaceful. I do, I do, like I said, I do like the way my dude looks. Kind of looks like a big bird dog or something. Right. Let's go. I'm not too worried about the lost health, you see, because... Uh, last time I got into a fight, they killed me in one hit. So, if things... Oh, I found it already. All right. Gather 35 Amatia mushrooms for whatever reason. Yeah, I mean, I think... Mm, I think we might be at that point, guys, where it's uh, time to go look at the description. And I think we're going to have to do that on the website because, like I said, uh, I, I was on a launcher for this. So um, it's not actually on Steam. I do like the way the water looks here. It's pretty cool. We can stand in it. So, I mean, the game is very, very, very pretty. And as far as, like, a dinosaur life simulator, I guess it's, uh... Definitely the best one of those I've ever played. But, also... I don't I don't know what is actually, um... 
you know, oh, I'm going to drown. That's fun. Excellent. Love drowning. Ooh, there's some pumpkins. Oh, melons. Right. These are the mushrooms that we're supposed to pick up. So we just pick them up, and you get money for it or whatever, and then you get a thing. I don't know. Well, let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, Path of Titans. Out now on Nintendo Switch. Available now on your Switch console and only in the eShop. Out now on consoles and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is a pretty cool uh, trailer. Like I said, the dinosaurs look amazing. Um, and playing as the dinosaurs also feels amazing, except for there does, doesn't seem to be much to do. Um, Path of Titans is an MMO dinosaur video game currently in active development for home computers and mobile devices, fully compatible with cross-platform play. Play as one of 18 core dinosaurs in a rich, uh, rich ecosystem filled with complex AI creatures and up to 200 other players. Explore an environment filled with natural events, quests, guilds, adventures, and free-form play, all while enjoying a rich life avoiding death and augmenting your dinosaur to suit your playstyle. Path of Titans will provide a framework for dinosaur enthusiasts to role players the favorite prehistoric beasts. We will also provide powerful modding tools to help you shape the game into your own dinosaur adventure. We will continue adding new content, including new creatures, skins, maps, and ongoing support for the aforementioned modding tools. The release date for Path of Titans will be announced as we get closer to development completion. Um, cool. So... There's a lot to unpack there. So yeah, so the game is designed as sort of like a life simulator for a dinosaur. And I guess it does that. I guess, it, it you know, my first go uh, taught me that there's crocodiles or whatever that thing is in the water. And it killed me. And then I definitely saw in the chat people complaining about, um, you know, big characters killing babies. Which seems like not fun, but whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, the quests were okay. But they didn't seem to matter. I mean, the, the the coolest quest I did was repairing the dam. I quite enjoyed that because I felt like I was actually affecting the world and doing stuff. Um, but collecting 50 pine cones or collecting uh, 25 uh, fly amatia mushrooms for no reason doesn't really make any sense. Um, you know, lots of MMOs, you have resource gathering, and usually you're collecting that stuff to do something with it. But I guess in this, you're a dinosaur, so collecting all those resources only makes sense if you're, like, crafting with them and stuff. And as a dinosaur, how could you do that? So, yeah, I feel like the quests need some work. Yeah, there could be... Uh, the, the killing and critter quests, um, that's a little bit interesting, and... Um, that little thing that I did kill, I had to, like, summon it out of its little cave. So they're not just wandering around on the ground. Um, they don't exist outside of, like, scripted interactions. And when I did that scripted interaction, um, I then got killed. So I guess, um, that player was sitting there waiting for people to come and do that. Anyways, um, a huge dynamic environment filled with dinosaurs and AI creatures in addition up to, to up to 200 players per server. Mm, okay. Um, dinosaur customization. I did like, like I said, the character cre character creation was by far one of the, the most fun things and all the different dinosaurs you can be. That's very cool. Begin life as a hatchling and grow to adulthood by completing quests and killing others. Grow in power and strength to take on larger creatures and bigger challenges. Watch your dinosaurs seamlessly grow out their horns, plates, spines, and teeth as you make your mark on the world. Combat and abilities. Yep, swimming, diving, and fishing. Cross-platform play game modding. So there's lots of stuff to like here. Um, I, I think I think my overall impression here is that I do like this game. I think it's quite good. I think that there's a lot of potential here and uh, you know making dinosaurs and then playing with them in the game is is a very cool uh, concept. They, they've gone all out on the graphics. It's visually very stunning. The map is massive. Um, and I actually would say that the map is probably too big. The, the map being so big is to its detriment. Um, because, you know, I spent most of the 40 minutes of playtime I had there just sort of going from place to place, and that's fine. Um, but it all looked basically the same. Yeah, there was no real big differences between um, different places and different areas. Um, you know, the, it was all very pretty, but at the end of the day, it didn't actually matter. Um, especially as, like, a little baby. Um, and I know that the game's like, you should group up, but, eh, I don't know. Not my jam. 
Anyways, so that's Path of Titans. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to check it out, you can click on the link in the description. Go to pathoftitans.com and check out the game. It's, uh, I guess, in they, they said uh, active development. I guess that means early access. I guess that's the, the go. I don't know why there's these uh, little buttons here. Um, and you can check it out. You know, get your dinosaur on. Go into the character generator, which is the, the, the fun stuff, and make your own dinosaur. So... Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, I will see you guys next time, class dismissed.